Hello everybody, it's me, Caitlin. I am making a coffee soap today. I have a paper towel in my strainer to catch little bits that were in my lye solution. This last batch of lye that I had was a little bit uh, speckly, um, so I'm straining it all out. So here is my hot lye solution and I have partially melted oils and butters in my bowl here. So let's go ahead and pour it in. There we go. There's that. Okay. So now I'm going to melt these down. I have um, coconut oil, palm oil, mango seed butter, cocum butter, and that's it in this in this container here in this bowl. So I'm just melting all of this the rest of the way down because that. Cocum butter takes forever to melt down. It has a really high melting point. I'm gonna let this melt the rest of the way down. And uh, then I will uh, show you guys what I have in my other bowl. Alrighty, and in this bowl here, I have rice bran oil, avocado oil, and castor oil. And then I also have some ground coffee that was already um brewed um and kaolin clay and coconut milk powder and a little bit of coffee essential oil not a lot though because i didn't have enough now i could just add it to here since i have all of my additives in this one bowl here and I don't know what it's gonna do when it hits the, the lye. So I'm gonna try to get it in here quickly and stir it up as quick as I can and pour it. This is about 20% butter, this recipe, so. It's gonna be a nice dark soap. Okay, I'm gonna stick blend this for like a couple seconds and see what happens. This might not even smell like coffee when I'm done. I'm not sure if that amount of coffee essential oil was enough. Um, but it's not, it's not so much the coffee smell that I wanted as it was just the exfoliation. Yeah, it's not separating. So that's good. And I'm going to go ahead and pour it. Before it thickens up too much. Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and texture this top. And I think I'll just do a little over to the side like my other bars. I really did pour this at the right time. I'm learning. I'm learning. <laughs> oh man. Let's do this one. And then if I'm done in time with these, I could add a little bit more 
of the coffee beans if there's space or if I want to, but I really don't have to. take a look. Huh, that's good. I think I could probably stick another one on top maybe. Let's see how I like that. I like the way the coffee beans look on the top of the soap and these will pop right out before you use them or while you're using them. And I just wanted a little bit of uh, something on there to add a little oomph. Okay. There is the coffee essential oil soap and I will bring you guys back for the cut okay it is later on that day from making it and here it is I unmolded it a little prematurely um, it was still a little warm but I couldn't wait because I'm impatient so it really actually didn't discolor too much. I don't know if it's going to do much more because um, I really didn't use too much of the coffee essential oil. It has the faintest smell of coffee. It's not real strong, which is fine. It just kind of smells like coffee grounds, which makes sense. <laughs> but let's get um, cutting. Now I got to take the end off. Let's see here. Hopefully I don't take too much off. And that's the inside. Just a speckly soap. I really just couldn't wait. Get my paper towel out. Now, as long as I get this all lined up properly, I shouldn't cut in any of those um, beans. Oh, how cute. That's a cute little bar. <laughs> I like them. Like I said, it's not a very strong, it kind of smells like, like a whiff, a whiff of, of black coffee. Nothing added, no creamer, nothing. Just basic coffee. I really like how the top ashed because I like how it gives it like a dusty look. Makes it look a little softer. I'm not a big fan of like really glossy like tops on soaps unless like the whole soap is glossy. But like more natural looking bars I really like an ashy top. Gives it a softness. This is super easy to cut through because I made it six hours ago. I like the little beans on top. They're in there pretty good, so I don't think I'm too worried about them falling off in packaging. And I was considering buying um, craft color bags. I use, they're like a translucent white, like um, bakery bag. So I was thinking about for my essential oil bars getting a craft color, uh, but I'm not sure. I just bought all new um, white ones. So I don't know if I wanna order a bunch of other colors or what I want to do. But I mean, these are all pretty much going to look the same. 
And surprisingly, there's not like much of a drag mark on it. It did start to crack in the oven. Um, so I checked on it and pulled it out of the oven. There's that, that brown sugar. It's like a medium grain. Yeah, these all look identical. <laughs> no shock there. But I'm really liking them. They're very simple and they're going to be nice and moisturizing. Let's see, I did... Yeah, I did um, some 10% mango butter and 10% kokum butter. So, it's 20% butter in the recipe and I have a low, well, a 20% coconut oil too. So it's gonna be a nice moisturizing bar once it's all cured and it should be a nice hard bar. Let's look at the hardness score. Hardness, the range is between 29 and 54 and this scored a 44. Cleansing is between 12 and 22 and this is a 14. Um, conditioning is between 44 and 69, and this is a 52. Uh, bubbly is between 14 and 46, and this is an 18. Creaminess is between 16 and 48, and this is a 35. And then iodine is between 41 and 70, and this is 61. And the INS, I'm not sure exactly what that is completely, but... It's between 136 and 165, and this is 144. Is that the total? No. Well, anyway, so that's the score. <laughs> so it's going to be a creamy bar. And exfoliating. Creamy exfoliation. I'll probably break this weird little edge off. All right, well, I'm gonna clean these up and I will show you the final bar. And here they are all cleaned up. There is my stamp on the side. Just barely fit. I need to remember to make these a little taller. <laughs> and there's the top. And it's going to be nice and creamy and exfoliating. Alrighty. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.